So it's lunchtime on Thursday and I am going to just like randomly throw something together, something a bit random um, and hope it works out. So I think I'm going to make like an omelette um, with a filling. So I've got some eggs from Aldi. I'm going to use two medium eggs. I might need to use three to actually make it a round omelette. But anyway, I'll see because um, my pan's quite big. Um, I've got four slices of bacon that I need to use up. I've got this half an avocado, which is, yeah, I preserved, I poured lemon juice on it to keep it from going brown. Um, I'm going to use 25 grams of this. Um, and basically what I'm going to try and do is cook the omelette, mash the avocado, 25 grams is two and a half sins, mash up the avocado, spread the avocado over the omelette, and fry off the bacon, add that in on top. And then I'm gonna fry off some pepper and red onion. I'm gonna season it with some chili and smoked paprika seasoning. This is about half a sin, a teaspoon or something like that, but I'm not going to sin it because I'm literally just gonna sprinkle it on. Um, it's got like one of those grates inside, so it doesn't come out very um, fast. So I'm literally just gonna sprinkle it and then I'll fill the omelet with this mixture. That's the plan. Let's see how it goes. So this is where I'm at. I've got my omelette, which I did use three eggs because they are really small, these ones for Aldi. And I've just spread 25 grams of avocado on. And I mashed it up with a tiny bit of salt. I've got the bacon medallions, which are free because there's no visible fat on them. And I'm just doing the filling now. You can hear it sizzling away. I've got peppers, onions. I'm just going to add some of the baby spinach. I'll show you when it's done. Oh my goodness, I hope this tastes as good as it looks and smells, honestly. So I sauteed off the yellow pepper and the red onion and the spinach. And then I added a couple of shakes of the chili and smoked paprika seasoning. And I also added a dash of balsamic vinegar while it was cooking. And it just smells absolutely delicious. And obviously I've got that on top of the bacon and the um, mashed avocado. So all of this is two and a half sins and this is my lunch today. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to the last week of June. What? I can't actually believe I'm saying that. Where is the month gone? It's Thursday today and it's weigh-in day. I am feeling good. I've had a good four days on track, 100%. I didn't know how I was going to recover. My cat is just jogging my leg again. Sorry about the shaky camera. I didn't know how I was going to recover from like the party weekend and the wedding and all of that. But I feel like I have. I feel like I've got my head back into the game. I'm focused and ready for it. So yeah, I'm just intrigued to see how much I weigh. I don't actually know. I haven't been weighed for two weeks and I feel like so much has happened in those two weeks, to be honest. I feel like, um, yeah, I don't know where I am. I don't know if I've gained, maintained, possibly lost I doubt it very much to be honest but I'll take whatever happens and just run with it and hope for a good week ahead so if you're new here welcome my name is Leanne I am on the Simmer World plan as of my last weigh-in I had lost two stone six and a half pounds I'm on a fairly epic journey to lose a decent amount of weight I would say probably at least seven stone not really sure yet gonna see how it goes I am a mum of two boys, they are five and seven, so they obviously keep me very busy and they really are my motivation for all of this, to be honest. I just want to be healthy, I want to be able to keep up with them. It sounds cliche, but run around with them, enjoy life with them. Um, the world's a funny place at the moment and you just have to um, enjoy as much as you can, really. So that's my plan so today for lunch i really need to talk about this because it was epic you would have seen the clips of what i had but honestly i would eat that wow i'd eat that for every meal to be honest i think that it's a weekend breakfast brunch sort of meal um i just happened to have the day off today uh from work and it's a quiet house because um, my husband's been out at the office and my kids are at school so I treat myself, um, had a few bits to use up in the fridge, the avocado needed using up, the bacon needed using up. And yeah, what an epic lunch. I would say 
definitely recreate that. Anyway, um, for breakfast, I had a Aldi protein strawberry yogurt, which is one and a half sins. And then I just topped that with some sliced strawberries. For dinner, I have got a bean veggie style chili in the slow cooker. So I'll show you that later. Um, and yeah, I'm about to head out on the school run. So I will catch up with you a bit later on. Hey guys, so it's now Thursday night. It's about 10 o'clock and I'm about to get ready for bed. Just thought I would check in. So um, I didn't have any snacks this afternoon. I just had a coffee when I got home from the school run. And then dinner was a like bean veggie. I don't really know what to call it, bean veggie chili type thing. Basically, it's just whatever you can find in the cupboard chucked in a slow cooker and left on all day. <laughs> That's as simple as it gets. So I used a pepper, a red onion, or two red onions actually, um, a tin of red kidney beans in water, a tin of mixed beans, these are the tins from Aldi I've put, I've put in there, a tin of chopped tomatoes, a carton of passata, and then I just seasoned it with like um, chili powder, oregano, smoked paprika. I just basically chuck whatever I've got in the slow cooker and just hope for the best. That's just how I do it sometimes. I just literally just hope for the best, wing it as they say. So yeah, I did that, left it on for nine hours on low and then I added some frozen peas in and put it on low again for another half an hour. And then we had that with, get my thinking cap on, well, the family had it with pasta. Well, I didn't actually have any pasta. Um, that was just a decision that I made because I had a really big lunch. I wasn't actually that hungry. And I thought I would just eat loads of veg um, and leave the pasta out because I didn't feel like I needed it tonight. But it's not me restricting myself or anything. I just didn't fancy it. So um, on my plate, I had literally everything. <laughs> um, so I roasted a cauliflower and some carrots they're like my two favorite vegetables that are roasted they are just so good um oh and i also roasted some kale so if you haven't done it before i really recommend doing it i got curly kale um it was in my tesco food shop this week and basically i just put it out on a baking tray spritz it with oil i use fry light and put it in the oven literally five minutes I reckon um you have to be very careful because it goes burnt very quickly um but if you catch it just right so it's still a tiny bit green um and sprinkle a bit of salt on after it's delicious it's a bit like the crispy seaweed that you get from the Chinese so yeah we love it so we had some of that I did broccoli and carrots in the saucepan just because my four-year-old doesn't like roasted veg he likes his boiled um and green beans so yeah, the right mixture. Um, and then I just put the bean chili over the top. And the good thing with that is just, it's cheap. You can just, you know, you can put whatever beans or uh, vegetables, whatever you like in it. You can flavor it however you want. Yeah, it's just really, really good. Um, and it makes loads. So I've got enough for another dinner and a pot for a lunch over the weekend. So I'm gonna be eating a lot of beans. <laughs> over the weekend then tonight was weigh-in and so went to group my usual consultant is on holiday now for two weeks so tonight we had another consultant who was lovely um, and then we've got another two weigh-ins with different consultants so that means we're using all different scales but I'm sure there isn't really a difference between them um so anyway, I maintain tonight. I can't believe it. I'm so happy to have maintained. Um, almost feel a bit emotional about this because when I weighed in at the end of May, I said, right, June is going to be the most difficult month of the year. Maybe Christmas tops it, but yeah, it, it was going to be a difficult month. And I just said, look, I want to maintain. This is my goal. Get to the end of June and have maintained my weight. That was my that really was my goal because, you know, there was the potential to have such big gains this month. And we've got one more week left, one more weigh in left of the month. And so far I'm down three and a half pounds. I can't believe it. So I'm really happy. So when I got back from group, I had some fruit that I put out to defrost. So I had raspberries, breakfast topper and a few cherries. Um, 
I finished, I had some Faye natural yogurt, zero percent natural yogurt in the fridge that I really needed to use up. There wasn't much in there, but I felt like I needed something sweet as well. So I put a banana and custard Miller light on top. They're half a sin each. Um, so I had that with the fire and the fruit. And then I haven't had my healthy extra B. So I had two tablespoons of flax seeds, ground flax seeds. They're the ones from the foodie market in Aldi. So you can have two tablespoons of healthy extra B. And it was a huge bowl. And to be honest, I looked at it. I was like, I don't really need that. But I don't know. It was just after weighing, I thought, I need to eat. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? Like, you're not really that hungry, but you just feel like... It's weighing, so even though it's 100% on track, but I just didn't need it anyway. I enjoyed it. And I had a cup of tea with uh, whole milk. So I had the um, toast and jam Yorkshire tea tea bags, and that was, like, I'm obsessed with those. In fact, I think I've nearly run out, so I need to get some more, but they are so nice. But if you have it, don't leave the tea bag in, as it just goes bitter. I literally just dunk it in essentially just put the milk in and then just swirl it and take it out um that's the right flavor for me you might like it stronger but yeah so is that where I'm at that's where I'm at so that's brought me to now um I've made overnight oats for work tomorrow I do this a lot now because it's just easy um I, won't, I haven't filmed making it because I filmed it in the last week's vlog and in loads of my other vlogs, it's exactly the same. I've used an Aldi protein yogurt, a vanilla flavour. They're one and a half sins. I've mixed it with 40 grams of porridge oats. Um, I've topped it with blueberries, raspberries and cherries um, and left it in the fridge. So that will be good to go tomorrow. I must say, using protein yogurt, the Aldi one, they're really thick. It's impossible to like stir it properly but it was so good it was way nicer than when I do it with Muller Lights um you could add a bit of milk to thin it out a little bit but it was so good um the oats don't like absorb as much because obviously the yogurt is so thick um so they're still a bit sort of dry and that was it sounds awful but it was really nice um so I've made it like that again so that whole portion is one and a half sins um, I'm not sure what I'm going to have for breakfast, but it's usually something with eggs because I can't use a healthy bee. I don't want to use too many sins. Um, so, yeah, I need to just um, work that out in the morning. Um, but, yeah, so that is all I need to say for today. And I'll catch you again tomorrow. So for breakfast this morning, I've got a sweet omelette. I haven't had a sweet omelette for absolutely ages. And basically, I've just mixed up my eggs with um, some Jordan's skinny syrups this is vanilla caramel cream flavor and they are sim free according to the app um and then inside i've just sprinkled half a teaspoon of the salted caramel sugar dusting from tesco's for half a sin and a teaspoon of the sweet freedom light syrup which is also half a sin so there's one sin in here and then i just sliced up some banana as well and that is going to be my breakfast today so this is my work bag today i have got my overnight oats they look good and um yeah really filling really delicious with that protein yogurt and then i've got a pepsi max if i need one and an apple hey everyone happy friday i am relieved the weekend's here it's been one hectic day i started at about quarter past six to get sorted for work and then went to the office got home at half two filmed my weigh-in update went straight out to school Got everyone sorted with their food and sorted after school, bathed my youngest, had to go to Beavers for half past five, um, got home from Beavers about seven and yeah, just ate my dinner at like half seven um, and now it's about half past eight. I've just finished putting the boys to bed and I thought I should just check in and let you know how my food has gone. It's been a great day actually, to be honest, I've been so busy I've not really thought that much about food so I started the day with my omelette and then I took my overnight oats to work and I didn't eat the apple and I didn't have the Pepsi Max but I ate the overnight oats at half past 12 and I wasn't hungry until well I ate my dinner at half seven so but I, I hadn't been like hungry so I started probably got started to get hungry about sort of seven o'clock time uh, which was at about the time when I got home and was about to cook it anyway or reheat it I cooked most of it before I left for beavers and then I reheated it when I got home 
So I basically just roasted some more veg, so cauliflower, carrots and broccoli. I roasted the broccoli as well because that's actually really nice. Sprinkled a little bit of salt on when it came out of the oven. I had a, a very small amount of spaghetti and then some bean chilli that was left over from yesterday's dinner and it was just lovely. So I've only just eaten that. Really, I'm not likely to snack tonight now because of that. But I must say, I've not been feeling hungry. I've not been craving anything. I even forgot like how many sins I'd had today. I think I've had two and a half. So I had one for breakfast and one and a half for the protein yogurt. I must say, I think the protein yogurts from Aldi are amazing. And I do think that's part of the reason that I kept so full this afternoon after my overnight oats was because they are just extremely filling. Honestly, if you haven't tried them, I do recommend it. Like if you want a fill in meal uh, out of it or you need like um, a snack style breakfast that still needs to keep you going um I really I really rate them so yeah um so that was my food today um nothing really exciting to report but I thought I would just check in and um yeah we've got a weekend at home um I've got a few bits to sort out I need to buy a few gifts um for some of my work colleagues and I need to get sorted for Legoland. I need to, really, I need to start kind of like packing, getting our outfits out and all of that because I won't have time in the week. And um, yeah, I need to just get on top of it. It's really exciting. So yeah, I'll catch up with you again tomorrow. Hey everyone, happy Saturday. Hope you're having a lovely weekend. Today I have chilled out at home for the morning, just doing like life admin on the laptop, you know, like trying to sort out our gas and electricity meters. Oh my goodness, having a nightmare with those and yeah, just um, trying to go through our budget a little bit. It's a little bit scary, but it needs to be done. So yeah, spent the morning doing that and uh, some washing and just pottering around. Then this afternoon, we went to the seaside. We're very lucky. We live very close to a nice little seaside area. And we just drove down there and they have this most incredible play area. It stretches such a long way. Um, and the boys love it down there. So they had about, I don't even know how long on the play area. We got a little bit fed up, to be honest, my husband and I. We were just kind of like sitting on the bench because they're big enough now to just go off by themselves. You know, we don't have to like hover by the play area and all of that anymore. So, yeah, we um, managed to prize them away and went on the beach for a bit. And the boys decided they wanted to go and paddle. It was really cold. Um I don't know what the temperature was, but it felt freezing. I luckily had my cardigan, but my husband just had his t-shirt and didn't take any like long sleeves. So we ended up having to leave because he was really cold. Um, but the boys had a paddle and I didn't have, I haven't repacked my boot for the summer. Normally I have got like a um, travel, like boxes in my boot in the car and I kind of carry things in there like a spare change of clothes a towel and things just in case we happen to stop off somewhere one day um, and need it like today. But So I need to get that repacked because I took it out in the winter and haven't repacked it. So yeah, we've had a really nice day. I am starting to think today about um, my weight loss goals. I actually have felt a little bit emotional. Now I have had three gins, <laughs> so it might be the gin effect causing the emotion. But yeah, I'm starting to think about like, because I'm heading towards a stone, a kind of like a stone bracket now where it starts to feel real. Like, you know, the weight loss starts to feel real. Um, yeah, I'm starting to think about like my kind of end of year goals. I'm a little bit nervous about the summer holidays. They are fast approaching. I think we've got three weeks until the kids break up and they have six and a half weeks off in our area, which blows my mind. It means that my husband and I take a lot of our annual leave in that period to cover the childcare. And so I've got about three weeks off. I'm not sure which one of us has got the most. It might be me. Um... I'm not sure. We didn't quite do it evenly. I know one of us has got a few days more. But yeah, I'm just going to take the summer holidays a week at a time. But in terms of my longer goals, um, I worked out that if I lost... So I'm kind of basing my goal on the last weigh-in of November because 
I really want to enjoy December because I've always been so overweight. I've actually turned down um, invitations. So, for example, I never go to my work dues. I never go out with friends or to Christmas parties or anything because I have nothing to wear and I feel horrendous. I really do. I just don't, I've never enjoyed going out at night because I really just had nothing to wear and just looked terrible. And I'm so self-conscious of that. So I, and my kids are a bit older now, so I've got a tiny bit more freedom. So I feel like I really wanna, you know, I really wanna go for it and head into, not that I wanna start thinking about Christmas now, but I wanna head into the Christmas season basically in a shape that I've not been in for a very long time. So I worked out that from now until the last weigh-in of November, if I lost two pounds a week, I would lose just over three stone, which is mind blowing. I don't intend to lose every week. And I certainly don't intend that I could lose two pounds every week. But my goal really is to lose two stone between now and the first week of December. So that gives me some wiggle room to potentially lose two and a half stone would be, well, I actually can't, that two and a half stone would then give me, I would give myself seven pounds to play with kind of between like the first week of December and the first week of Feb. So to get December and January, um, and I would still feel so happy and comfortable. So two and a half stone from now is a weight that I haven't seen since, I really don't know, probably like 2001. Um, and it actually makes me feel a bit emotional just thinking about it. So I know I'm waffling on here, but yeah, it's just the point of these diaries is to capture like how I'm feeling and how things are going. And yeah, I feel like it's getting real now. I'm at the point now where I can start thinking about like life changing weight loss as in like weights that I've not seen for such a long time that will change my life because, you know, I avoid doing so much because of my weight. Yeah. So anyway, let's talk about food. So this morning I had an Aldi protein yogurt, a peach and papaya i think it is i'm gonna have to talk. i'll put a picture on the screen <laughs> um they're one and a half sins i love those yogurts i absolutely have to go back to aldi and get some more they're not cheap they're 75 pence each but they are so worth it they are so filling so i then had my healthy extra b which was some ground flax seeds on top uh two tablespoons of ground flax seeds is a healthy extra b choice and they're really, really good for like healthy fats, omega fats particularly. And so yeah, I had that on top. Oh, and I also had some strawberries. I sliced up a handful of strawberries and put those in with it too. So that was a lovely breakfast. Um, then for lunch, it was a bit random. Basically, I'd got some lettuce left from our Tesco haul Monday. So I used all of that, put that on the plate first. Then I used some orange pepper and half a red onion, which was in the fridge as well in a container that needed to be used. So pop that all on the plate. Then I microwaved a pack of the Tesco frozen cauliflower rice. I know it probably seems a bit lazy and expensive to buy frozen pouches, but they're so easy. And um, you just put it in the microwave for, I think it's like three minutes, but I always do mine like three and a half minutes just to make sure it's definitely hot. And I popped that in the bowl and then I had a portion of my mixed bean veggie chili left from the other night. It, it goes such a long way. Um, so I reheated that and put it on the top and it was really lovely. It was such a nice lunch, just random. Oh, and I put a bit of balsamic vinegar on the salad as well, just to coat it so I don't get a reaction. And that was lunch. I haven't had any snacks in between. And then for dinner, went to town, I had a fake away. So I used the Mayflower curry sauce mix, which you can buy from Home Bargains, B&M or Iceland, I think. And I, do you know, it's an absolute nightmare to sin it. Oh my goodness. But I worked it out in the end. So I used, basically, I weighed out one and a half tablespoons, looked about the right amount for me. And that came, that weighed 14 grams. So basically I did 42 grams and divided it by three and that worked out at four and a half sins. 
each because one and a half tablespoons is four and a half sins. My boys have just come in the bed, running in the bedroom. They've just been, gone out in the garden after dinner. And they've been like, my Harry just came in and he said, oh my God, I've just found a hatched egg on the floor. Basically, we had, I'm going right off track here, but we had a pigeon. We've got this big tree in our garden and this pigeon built a nest in our tree and it's been sitting on it. She hasn't moved. I've not seen her move. Every time I've been to look under the tree, I literally walk under the tree and look up. She's there and she's now gone. And so I think she must have left her eggs. I'm not sure. I mean, we didn't hear babies or anything, so they wouldn't have just come out of the eggs and flown away, would they? I don't, I don't know. There's a dilemma you don't face every day. So anyway, um, back to dinner. So with the Mayflower curry sauce, mix, if you haven't tried it, I really recommend it. It is delicious and it really genuinely tastes like a Chinese curry. You literally just pour water in the pan, in an empty pan, hot pan, because I fry off my onions and peas first and then I tip them onto a plate and then I put the water in my pan and then I add the curry sauce mix and just keep mixing it. And as it gets hotter, it thickens up. And if it doesn't thicken up enough, you just turn the heat up um, or if it thickens up too much, just keep adding water. And honestly, my children keep interrupting me constantly. <laughs> it's like just play for five minutes by yourself um so yeah where was i so yeah i made the curry sauce once i got it to the right consistency i then add the peas and the onions back in then i oven roast the chicken because it just adds such a nice flavor and i was using the oven anyway because my oldest son won't eat a curry so he had fish and chips fish fingers and chips so i was using the oven anyway so i oven roasted the chicken then i sliced that up and popped it in the pan with the sauce the peas and the onion we served it with boiled rice. I had some boiled rice, but to be fair, I didn't have much because I roasted a cauliflower and also did some carrots and green beans in a saucepan. And I also had about, I don't know, half a bag of kale left from the Tesco shop. So I roasted that as well. Just pop it on a tray, put it in the oven, five minutes, sprinkle it with sea salt. Absolutely divine. So yeah, again, my dinner was mostly vegetables. <laughs> um, becoming a thing now but I do love veg I love roasted veg I mean when our gas bills go up in September I'm probably gonna have to stop using the oven so much but for now I'm making the most of it so yeah that was dinner I also had three gins so it's Saturday night and I'm gonna have a gin why not excuse all the mess in the background it's just a very busy hectic house <laughs> I've got some Gordon's dry gin it's not actually been opened yet um so I'm gonna have I don't know am I gonna have a small or a big one I think I might have a small one because I think that's two and a half sins uh, for 25 mils and then I'm going to have some passion fruit martini mocktail this is from Aldi it's all right it's not the best I wouldn't say but it's all right um I think it will taste a lot nicer with some gin in it so yeah I'm gonna have that I've got some reusable ice cubes in there if you wonder what that plastic fruit is so yeah that's what I'm gonna have as my Saturday night pre-dinner treat so I had seven and a half sins of gin and I had a Aldi mocktail with that, which I'll be honest with you, I'm not bowled over with. It's all right. It's a little bit fruity, but I have got a bottle of diet lemonade in the fridge. I'm just drinking all the soft drinks from our party. We had loads left um, and I prefer the lemonade. So, yeah, um, but, you know, it was all right. And I mixed it with that. But to be honest, 25 mils is just not enough i can't even taste it it's like where's the gin mate i'm gonna have to virtually use no mixer in my gins if i'm gonna do 25 mils so maybe i just need to put it all in one glass like well not all of it but like five sins 50 mil maybe i should do 50 mil in a glass and just like drink it slowly i don't know do love a gin so yeah so i'm doing quite a high sin day today but that's absolutely fine because that's what this plans about it's about having your sins when you need them i generally don't use a lot of my sins every day um but when i need them then i'll have them and i felt like enjoying it tonight so yeah that's where i'm at i might have some snacks tonight i'm not sure if i do i'll show you and if not i'll speak to you tomorrow good morning so it's sunday and for breakfast well it's a very late breakfast it's about 11 o'clock but anyway i'm going to have some of this Aldi Really Nutty Muesli. You can have 40 grams of this as a healthy extra B choice, and I'm really enjoying this. Um, I'm gonna have a Lindell's Pro Kvar Banoffee Pie flavor for half a sin, a sliced up banana, 
and a handful of blueberries. For lunch today, I'm gonna have a salad, which I'm making up here. It will literally be pepper, cucumber, tomatoes, and onion, because that's all I've got left. And I'm going to have some corn frozen pieces. These are sim free. I'm gonna flavor them with soy sauce, oh, soy sauce, which is sim free, and some Cajun seasoning. This is sin, but I'm only gonna use a sprinkle, so I might just count half a sim for it just to be safe. And then I'm gonna have this roasted vegetable couscous. It's one and a half sins. It's Ainsley Harriet. Tomato, onion, peppers, and a hint of garlic. And I'll just make this up with boiling water. And yeah, so my lunch will be, um, I'll count two cents for it. One and a half for the couscous and half for the seasoning. After lunch, I had 10 of these birthday cake bites. They are basically like really, really small rice cakes with like white chocolate and some sort of sprinkles on. I picked mine up from TK Maxx. It's quite a big bag. You can have 21 of these for four and a half cents. I'm just counting two and a half sins for the 10 that I had. And if I do have 10 later, then I'll add the other two sins on. But for now, I'm just gonna count these as two and a half for 10. So I'm just making dinner. I'm gonna make chorizo pasta tonight because it's quick and easy. I just fry off some red onion and pepper, and then I just add a splash of balsamic vinegar and lots of smoked paprika, probably a good couple of tablespoons. Then I fry off some diced chorizo. You can use any chorizo, but I use the frozen one from Tesco's. 50 grams of this, which I will measure out, is six sins. And that will go between three of us and there'll be enough for lunch tomorrow as well. But I will count two sins for my portion just to keep it safe. I'll add some chopped red chilli. This is the frozen one from Tesco's. And then I'll add some stock. I usually use the stock pot, smoked chilli and tomato. Um, and then I add the boiling water straight into the pan on top of it and chopped tomatoes and then just keep stirring it until it's all done um i always serve everyone well, i serve all my meals with a good portion of veggies on the side but literally eaten every single vegetable in the house <laughs> oh when i add peas into the trip so um i've literally just got carrots so i might add some cucumber and just yeah kind of bulk it out a bit um so it's going to be a little bit random but that's how we roll so yeah i'll show you when it's all finished Hi everyone, today is Monday and it's actually quarter past one and this is the first time I'm eating. Honestly, it's been so hectic. I've been out all morning after school runs, so I'm so ready for some food. Um, I've got a salad made of lettuce, cucumber and tomatoes. And over the top of the salad, I have put some balsamic vinegar, which is sin free, and a teaspoon of this olive oil, which I got from Tesco's today which is two cents for a teaspoon. So I've added a teaspoon over my salad. And then I've got chorizo pasta left over from dinner last night. I know this is a big portion, but my goodness, I'm so hungry. Um, I'm gonna count one sin for the pasta um, because I expect there to be some sins in it. It was six sins for the whole lot. Um, three of us had it for dinner last night and this is the leftovers. I counted two sins for my portion last night, which is probably too many sins really. So I'm gonna count one for this and two for the olive oil. So that's three sins. And then I have got a Raspberry Pepsi Max, which is sim free. So this is my breakfast and lunch for Monday. So this is Monday night's dinner. I've got a big salad made of lettuce, spinach, tomatoes, orange pepper, red onion and cucumber, drizzled it with balsamic. And then I've got a jacket potato, which I've done in the oven with beans and 30 grams of cheddar for my healthy extra A choice. And then in my potato, I have spread some of this dynamite chili Marmite. I love chili and I love marmite, so this was completely up my street. Found this in B and M, so yeah, I popped that in my potato, and that is um, Monday night's dinner. So it's quite late in the evening now, and I'm really hungry. So I'm going to have a late night. I say late night; it's only half past eight, but a late evening snack slash pudding. So I'm going to have some strawberries, which I've just washed. I'm going to put a banana and custard muller light on top for half a sin. And I'm also going to add in there 40 grams of this Aldi Really Nutty Muesli. This is really good. I really highly recommend this as a healthy extra B choice. And then I'm going to add a tablespoon of flaxseed to that because this is really good for you. It's got some really good healthy fats in it. I'm going to have a level tablespoon, which I'm going to sin at two and a half sins. I think I've only had three sins today. I had two sins on olive oil and one sin on my um, chorizo pasta. And so that will take me up to five and a half sins. 
and I'm going to have some of these picotta or picota cherries. Um, so yeah, that's going to be my evening snack. Hey guys, I haven't shown my face on here for a couple of days because this video is so long. I thought I would try and shorten it a bit. So yeah, I thought I'd say hello and um, sorry about the light. It's quarter past nine and I've had to put my ceiling light on and it's super bright. So yeah. Um, anyway, I hope you are all having a good week. It's Monday. It feels like it's been a really long week already, which is ridiculous. I think it's because I've got a couple of really full on days at work ahead. And I always get like that kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say feeling of dread because I love my job. But I don't know, I just, I get that kind of like back to work feeling after I've had the weekend and my non work day. If I've gone through the weekend without working, um, because I do work weekends sometimes, um, then I kind of get that feeling. But yeah, I um just really wanted to let you know that I'm struggling a little bit um today. I was fine this morning because I was so busy. I had to go to loads of shops, I had lots of errands to run, and I didn't eat until I got home, as you know, at one about one twenty I think I had lunch. So that was the first time I ate. I did have a coffee and lots of water, um, but I just didn't eat. And then I was fine. But after lunch, I just felt a bit, I don't know, just a bit wobbly. And then I was, I didn't eat anything else until dinner, which was jacket potatoes. And again, this evening, I've just felt really hungry. Um, I've been eating a few more carbs um, yesterday and today. I'm not sure if that's the reason or whether I'm just in one of those moods. Um, anyway, I've had my evening snack, which is essentially my breakfast, but at night, which to be honest, is not great to do that. Um, in my opinion, I mean, I'm not medically or, you know, nutritionally trained, but yeah, I wouldn't choose to eat like that in the evening because I don't think it's great or for me anyway. Um, and I think I'm probably going to wake up hungry as a result of that. But yeah, I've decided to just come to bed and just chill for a bit. Um, I'm quite tired. I have to get everything kind of sorted for going away at the weekend as well. My oldest son has his friend round after school tomorrow. This is quite, it's quite a busy household. So yeah, I feel just, I don't know. I feel like I could just indulge tonight. And it's not that I'm restricting myself. It's that I don't want to say, oh, okay, have it. Um when it's emotional so like that's what I'm trying to tackle I'm trying to um not do that and rather just have like the sins or you know the um the extra bits like when I actually want them rather than when I just like when I'm at risk of just overindulging and just for all the wrong reasons and I think that's where I'm at today so I am going to force myself not to have anything um I have had quite a few sins so I had I think I said did I say five and a half I, I, I miscounted by half a sin um when I showed you my snack um I think because I forgot to add the Muller lights I think I had three sins at lunch two and a half were in the flaxseed and then half a sin in the yogurt so I have had six sins today um yeah it's just one of those days so I'm just gonna go to bed and see how I feel tomorrow um I should be so busy that I don't think about it anyway I've made overnight oats again I used an Aldi vanilla protein yogurt because they are stunning and I've added the oats to that um quick tip if you are doing that um, I actually put the yogurt in the bowl first and then I measure the oats on top and then like fold it in because if you put the oats in first and the yogurt on top it's really hard to mix them up um, so that's a quick tip for you and then I've just added my fruit on top as, as always so I've put that in the fridge um, and yeah so that is kind of where I'm at this week um, but hopefully tomorrow will be a better day and uh, yeah just one of those days I think so anyway I'll catch you again tomorrow and while I think of it, I had a non-scale victory today. I had to get my rain jacket out and I haven't worn it for quite a few weeks and it is way looser around my tummy. I couldn't actually do it up uh, when I started Slimming World and then 
I managed to do it up a few weeks back, but it was extremely tight. Um, but now, yeah, there's quite a big difference. So I'm really happy because that does mean that I have lost some weight around my tummy because um, I feel like I can't see it. Um, but yeah, I um, definitely noticed it then. So yeah, I'm really chuffed about that. Good morning, everyone. So today is Tuesday and for breakfast, I am having a smother sweet omelette. So I've mixed up some skinny syrups with my eggs. This is just a vanilla caramel cream flavour and that is sim free. And then on top, I'm going to add a sliced banana, half a teaspoon of the vanilla sugar dusting from Tesco's, which will be half a sim, and a teaspoon of the sweet freedom light syrup. And that will be half a sim for a teaspoon as well. So I'll show you when it's done. So this is lunch for work today. I am pretty much the same as I always am. And I just find it really, really filling. Um, so just the same as usual, um, frozen fruit defrosted on the top. And then I've got an apple in case I need one and a bottle of sparkling water. And that's what I'm gonna to take to work for lunch. And I'm also gonna make a coffee using Nescafe Azira instant in my travel mug and using whole milk for that. Hey guys, it's now Wednesday night and I thought I'd better just come and kind of like tell you about my food the last couple of days and close the vlog down because I want to get this uploaded um, for tomorrow. So first of all, I hope your week has been okay. I would say that I have struggled a little bit this week. I've been open about that. I think no matter how confident you feel that you've, you've got it under control, you're always going to have these weekdays, these week moments or just the moments where you just crave to be honest and I've had a few of those this week I had a couple of days where I had more carbs and evening snacks and I do wonder if it's got something to do with that or whether I was just generally having you know those kind of days that you get um but I'm pleased to report I actually feel a lot better now I feel like just forcing myself to stick with it and work through those cravings and just not give in at the first hurdle just keep persevering um I think that really helped and yeah I think just sometimes some people I guess could look at it and think you're being hard on yourself in some ways I could be but I do think it's sensible to try and differentiate between the need to eat because you're tired or emotional between that and actually I want to enjoy something and I think that that's the difference for me. And when I feel like I'm craving and I've got those emotional needs, once I start, I'm likely to just overeat and for no reason. And that's what I'm trying to tackle. So yeah, I'm really pleased I worked through that. And now I feel really good. So yesterday I had my omelette for breakfast. Then um, for lunch, I had the overnight oats as planned that I made the night before. Um, and then for dinner, I made a like a beef keema curry style meal, which I do make quite frequently. It's my five year old's favourite dinner, bless him. Basically, I just fry off some onion, some 5% fat beef mince, which is sim free. And I add some curry powder. I add quite a bit of medium curry powder, uh, probably a good couple of tablespoons. And then I add beef stock, frozen peas and passata. And that's all I do. And I just let it simmer away. Um, and then last night we had that on rice and I made some vegetables for the side. So I made carrots and broccoli and then some roasted cauliflower, of course. And that was really, really lovely. And then there was leftovers to save, which is really handy because then, you know, for your budget, it goes much further. Um, so then today went a bit awry because I was meant to be going into the office today um, and my five-year-old woke up with a real barking cough. So I had to keep him home from school, which then meant I had to work at home and throughout my eating. Now, um, I did have overnight oats prepared again to take to the office with me. So I grabbed those and had those for breakfast. So it's always handy to have just something you can grab. So if you don't have like something fully prepared, you know, like I don't usually have overnight oats prepped in the fridge, have a protein yogurt and some fruit or just something with some substance that's going to keep you going and make you less likely to make the wrong choices because you're hungry. So I had those and then um, I don't, like I said, I don't, I've said this before, I don't get a lunch break because I don't work at quite enough hours, but only just, so I work five and a half hours. 
Um, so it's still a really long time and it's over that point of the day where I'm going to get hungry. Um, but I didn't really have a plan for my son being off school today. So basically my husband helped. So I had a ham omelette. So two medium eggs fried in fry light with some ham in it. And then 25 grams of avocado was spread on one side. And then inside the omelette was a bit more ham and some spinach was just wilted in the pan the hot pan with some chili flakes and some balsamic and just popped inside the omelette and it was just so good so quick and yeah it was really lovely and then I could just have that when I finished work and then for dinner we had leftover keema curry oh and there were some baked beans left from my um my oldest son had his friend round for dinner yesterday um, and they had something different and there was some baked beans left. So I shoved those in the curry as well. Makes it go further, doesn't it? And it was just a way of using the leftover beans. So tonight we had the leftover keema curry. Um, I did some pasta and then I have got some lettuce that he's using. So what I was going to do was make some lettuce wraps. So I put the lettuce leaves out and then put the curry inside but the curry was too saucy really and the leaves weren't strong enough. They're a little bit, to be honest, they need to be eaten. So I ended up just kind of like eating it with a fork. <laughs> but the idea was there. And then on the other side of the plate, I had carrots, broccoli and some more lettuce. And I popped some picante peppers on the side as well. So a bit random, but I find my dinners can be a bit random, but they taste so good. And I just find keeping it simple and using your leftovers the next day just really helps because, you know, if you're in a hurry or something unplanned crops up, I just think it makes life so much easier not to go too fussy with main meals. Tomorrow night I'm making a hunter's chicken. Um, I will film it, but it will go out next week. I'll do like a evening meals video or something in place of the diaries. Um, Obviously, we're away Friday, coming back late Sunday. Um, so, yeah, I might vlog a bit of Lego Land. I'm not sure if anyone would be interested in that anyway. But, yeah, so I'm going to close this vlog down now, just so I can get it edited and uploaded for tomorrow. Thank you. I know this is such a long one. I am going to cut my videos down. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do four-week diaries like this very often because they are so long. If you did make it to the end, then I'm very, very grateful. And, yeah, I hope you've had a good week, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.